Ah, finally. The HECU have stopped bombing us, so it should hopefully be safe to leave. Better take the gluon gun with me just in case, and of course, my trusty crowbar. What's, what's that noise? Oh my god! So, you want to play Half-Life Deathmatch, but all of the servers have ping and the quadruple digits are password protected or aren't vac secured and are rampant with hackers, not mentioning the times you do get into a stable game and you can only take about three steps before you get killed with someone who has a glue on gun and all you have is a crowbar and a Glock 17 to defend yourself? At least it's not the M9 from the HD models pack where you can't even see the magazine go into the gun. Like what kind of unrealistic crap is that? Anyways, fret no more as there has been a solution to this problem for quite some time now. Bots! Now, if you have a good enough internet connection, there is already a bot server available. It is simply titled, Lots of Bots! Now, a couple of disclaimers before we get started. This tutorial is relatively easy to follow, but make sure just in case you back up all your game files. I mean, with opposing farce and blue shit, Half-Life takes up less than half of a gigabyte of storage, and I mentioned the expansions because they're actually stored within the Half-Life 1 folder. Same with Team Fortress Classic and maybe OG Counter-Strike, but no, I don't own that, so I can't say for sure. Another thing is you won't be able to play normal deathmatch games because of a step that I will mention later. Oh, and most importantly, this is for the Steam version of Half-Life and not the World Opponent Network. I have no idea if this tutorial works for that version because I've only ever owned the Steam version. Anyways, let's with that out of the way, let's go ahead and figure out how to get bots in a local Half-Life multiplayer game. So, step one is to download Jumba. I have a link for this in the description, like always, because I'm cool like that. Then, what you want to do is extract the files into the root Half-Life folder. So if you have it installed on your default C drive, the directory should be C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Half-Life. After you've done that, you need to copy the map files from the Valve Maps folder into the Jumbot Map folder, but only copy the ones with actual names, so Crossfire, Boot Camp, Subtransit, stuff like that, and not the C1A1 or T0A0 or C4A1F ones. Those are maps for the single player. And I don't think having the graphs folder will make a difference, but I went ahead and copied it anyways, so let me know if it makes a difference in the comments. So the last thing that you want to do before all this works is go to your Half-Life launch options on Steam and type this in. Now you should be all set. Something else you should know is that in the Jumbot folder, there is a file called jumbot.cfg. This is how you configure the bots, but for some reason the difficulty setting, which is set to the hardest by default for some reason, does not make a difference whatsoever what setting it is set to, because when you set it to 1, you know, the easiest difficulty, the bots will still snipe you across the map with glocks from the other side of the map, and by default, they don't even use crowbars, which is something that the bots on the Lots of Bots server can and will do. Speaking of servers, by the way, the reason why you can't play normal Half-Life servers Servers is due to the fact that the game filter, which is normally set to Half-Life, is now set to Jumba and cannot be changed within the game. That's what the launch options did. This is also why whenever you launch it straight from the executable in the folder and not from Steam, it doesn't let you play with bots, because it doesn't have that dash game Jumbot flag. So technical details aside, let's talk about some issues with the Jumbot. And before we do that, if you want to have that scene from the beginning of the video, just play on the map Crossfire and have the crowbar setting turned on for the bots. The most glaring issue is the fact that you cannot scope in with the revolvers or the crossbow, which kind of defeats the purpose of the weapons, don't you think? The crossbow was made to be long-ranged and shoot underwater, like the Glock. How do we keep coming back to the Glock? You know, I'm surprised that's not the weapon most associated with Half-Life. Back on subject, the revolver in multiplayer is meant to be like a pocket sniper, with one extra shot and a way faster reload time. But the other gimmick with the crossbow in multiplayer is that the arrows are explosive as well, as being a tranquilizers. Or maybe they replace the tips? They, as in Black Mesa, or the HECU, or the fucking G-Man. Look, the point is, the bots mod thing isn't perfect, but how on earth did they screw that up? That's like when the devs of the Ravenfield multiplayer mod fucked up the movement to the point where strafing, an integral part of movement, did not function properly, and proning made you do a weird dive thing. But that's about it for bugs. Uh, the other issues with Jumbot is... The bots are just really difficult and unfair, but hey, at least they speak in chat, which is something that Steel Raven 7 would shamelessly steal and put in his mutators and scripts update for Ravenfield. What? Ravenfield again? God damn it, getting off topic. 
One of the worst issues with this mod is how some maps just don't work. I don't know what it is, bots just will not spawn on some of them. Maybe it's an issue with jump bots, maybe it's an issue with me, who knows, because, you know, I obviously don't. So, yeah, I guess that's the end of this video. Uh, like always, if you like it, you leave a like. You didn't like it for whatever reason, you leave a dislike. If you did have an issue, some rare, obscure issue, like my friend Michael, leave a comment and I'll try to help out in any way that I can. Because Jumpbot is pretty fun. It has its moments, and I think you should all experience that, you know, if you like Half-Life, like I do. Seeing as how my uh, profile picture has a Lambda symbol on I should at least, you know, have a few Half-Life videos on my channel. But, uh, anyways, do consider subscribing to my channel. That is the only way to increase my sub count by one and make me feel just a little bit better about myself. Just, yeah, think about all that, and I'll see you guys next time. Or maybe I won't. Depends on whether or not I feel like making a video or not. You know, it's kind of the thing about YouTube, you know, it's just whether or not